players, when I tell you that Twitter is a dumpster fire, it is a dumpster fire, honey. And I honestly do not know if and when that fire will ever be extinguished. So as we know, Elon Musk has purchased Twitter. And ever since he signed his name on the dotted line, it has been a shit show. He laid off of half of Twitter's workforce the first week that he was there. And due to a California law, he has to pay them until February. According to reports, the N-word use is up and Twitter users are leaving the app as a whole. According to reports, the remaining employees that Twitter has has to come back to the office even though the majority of them are working from home. The only way you can get out of working from home is if you have a personal approval from Elon Musk. So it's getting pretty uncomfortable for the employees that are left on Twitter, so much so that the chief information security officer tweeted that she quit yesterday, and then the chief privacy officer and chief compliance officer resigned yesterday, according to an internal message that was posted to a Twitter messaging system. Now, the company's top ad sales executive did tweet that she stayed with the company, and it looks like Elon's going to need it, baby, because according to reports, his ass is talking about filing bankruptcy. In Twitter's first company-wide email, Elon Musk warned that Twitter would not be able to survive the upcoming economic downturn. And in this email, he did not rule out the possibility that he will have to file bankruptcy. And considering the fact that Twitter is having trouble combating misinformation and also the Twitter blue signups disappeared from the app after so many fake accounts caused chaos. So Twitter rolled out their option for Twitter blue users to upgrade their subscription and doing this will get them a verified blue check mark. Kyle Rittenhouse was one of the first to get the blue check mark. As you can see here, he now has a verified account. But if you click on the verification, it says this account is verified through the paid subscribed Twitter Blue. But of course, the ability to pay for a verified account is causing chaos on Twitter. Verified accounts start popping up impersonating public figures like LeBron James, George Bush, Child, it was a hot boo-boo shit mess. It was so bad that Twitter had to post a tweet apologizing for the misleading messaging from these verified accounts that were impersonating people. And they said that they had suspended those accounts. Now, experts had already expressed to Elon Musk that this was a bad idea and he needs to backpedal and pussy pop out of it immediately. But of course, everything with Elon Musk is about that mighty dollar. But this morning, they did disable the function that allowed people to pay for blue check marks. So now a spokesperson for Twitter actually issued a statement and said that it's not clear when the paid feature will return to Twitter. It was a shit show. They shouldn't have done it in the first place. Just like the experts told them. But hey, it's all about that mighty dollar. Player, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double Demo for the Black Accurate News.